Well, we got a lot of games. We bit off a bit more than we could chew. Hundreds, absolutely stuffed. We've gotten a nice stack so far. Bears, beats, Battlestar Galactica. About 2,400 spent, and the potential value on everything we got is probably right around. Welcome to garage sale season, baby. I think you guys can see it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this one. Make me a good deal on this one. Let's go. <laughs> So how are we gonna do that? Well, it's gonna take some game stores a long time to go through all this. So obviously if we took it to Wayne, one game store, they would hate us and that wouldn't work for a day. So we're gonna disperse between three game stores, two different days. So today we're gonna go to one game store. We're gonna, probably gonna bring like five of the tubs. We got 17, so we gotta you know figure out. Five to six per store is what we're gonna do. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to two other game stores in neighboring cities and hopefully get a whole bunch of trade-in credit. And then what I'm gonna do with that trade-in credit is use it to consolidate to maybe two bins of really, really nice games that I can then sell on Amazon for a profit even compared to what I got them for at the game stores. So why do I have 17 bins of trade-in? Well, if you guys have been around for any amount of time watching the channel, you know that I buy a lot of stuff. And when I see the stuff, I don't cherry pick, I just buy everything. Because game stores are, lo they love this kind of stuff. Like they, they sell this stuff for, you know, anywhere from two to $10 in some cases. And they'll pay me anywhere from a dollar to $5 per item. And it's a win-win because I just, this at this point, I have zero dollars in all of this because I profited in all the bundles I originally got them from. So this is all gonna be gravy. And I love it because they'll give a bonus for trade-in compared to what they would do for cash. And then I use that trade-in and usually I can come pretty close to doubling up on what I get from these game stores. So it's kind of like I'm getting twice as much as what they give me for the trade-in credit. Um, a lot of times I get the question, what, how do you know what makes trade-in, what doesn't? Well, if the, if the item is a super slow seller and is selling for $10 or less, or less than $10, that certainly makes trade-in, but really anything that is under $10 free shipping on Amazon or eBay, not really worth listing individually. I might walk out with three to $4 after fees and shipping, and that doesn't include the risk for return and all that stuff, so that just gets thrown in trade-in, and I'll be happy getting an average of $2 a piece for all of these items. There's probably around 1,000 games in here if I had to guess. Uh, maybe 500 to 800, somewhere in there. There's a lot. Um, <laughs> so we gotta get rid of it. And I like to get rid of it before I have my own garage sale. I like to take all the stuff to the game stores, let them process through a little bit. And then the stuff that makes it to my garage sale is stuff that they wouldn't take for whatever reason. And I usually put a dollar piece on it at my garage sale. So this is step one. Three game stores, we're gonna take it. We're gonna go quickly through showing you how much trade-in credit we got and then also show you what we're buying from each store. So let's do it. All right, so we're driving. This is all the trade-in stuff. We got one, two, three, four, five bins um, that we're gonna take to this first local store. That was my elbow. Um, Chase, how much do you think we're gonna get in well, first off, what, what do you think the cash value they'll offer is? And then what do you think the trade-in value? I think they'll be, we got five bins. Oh, uh, let's see. I would say maybe around 350 cash, 400 trade-in, something like that. Yeah? That, that's, that's a hopeful guess. Hopeful guess? Shoot, I was gonna go more hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know a ton about trade-in. How much they offer and stuff. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, know that the sports games aren't worth anything because we have the sports games list to buy <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so we already got the good ones out 
Yep, that's so, true. Link down in Patreon mm-hmm. for uh, for that. Sports games worth buying. Yes. Yep. Um, but I, I I'm gonna go four fifty trade in. I was gonna say five hundred, but I don't I don't know. There's okay. just a lot of random stuff. It is. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot, lot of random stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Let's go bring it in. Let's give a little bit closer of a look on what one of these trade-in bins looks like. So, it's just a lot of randomness. There's, there's some disc-only stuff, but mostly it's stuff like Corvette for PS2. There's probably some DS games buried, Game Boy games mm-hmm. buried. Third-party controller stuff. Yeah, so they usually don't take that, so that might hurt our trade-in a little bit. But we got a lot of guidebooks in this one. A lot of decent trade in, like it hasn't been processed at any other disc traders. So hopefully the the 400 thing can happen, but we will see. A few minutes later. All right, so it's approximately two minutes and 50 seconds later, and they're closed. <laughs> they said they opened at 10, but apparently they got to update the Google. It's uh, adjusted it's hours 11. still apparently. I don't. Yeah, I don't get that. Yeah. So now we have some other stuff to do that we can do. So yeah, probably go do that and move on. All right, when you're ready. Well, since Disc Traders wasn't open, reached out to a local connection of mine. Ended up spending six hundred thirty dollars with him. So he's local competition. He sells at flea markets, but we bought a bunch of systems, basically for half of what I can get for them online. And this is that. So six Wii's, uh, some games, a Dreamcast 360, Wii U, brand new Connect, and a loose Connect. 630 bucks. And now let's go to Disc Traders. We've we've bought more than we've sold. <laughs> yeah, the original goal of today was to get rid of stuff and make room. And we have just as much stuff as we've already made. When, filled the room. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. There's people that brought in like collectible toys and board games, and Disc Traders doesn't take those. And I kind of said to them what I do as we were walking in, mm-hmm. like, would you want to buy this Risk Legacy game? And I said, yeah. I mean, is it complete? I said, you open it up, and all the contents are brand new inside. So That's so cool. It's like, yeah, I could give you ten bucks for that, and I did. It's worth about thirty. So, and they were like, yeah, uh, yeah. you make money, we get rid of stuff, and they're gonna send me pictures of whatever Disc Traders doesn't take, and yeah. So, outside of the actual trading in stuff, we're uh, minus 640 today. <laughs> yeah. That's a yeah. positive way to look at it, right? Hopefully we get some more trading credit. This music is really, 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 really loud, so I'm going to keep talking. Chase, where are we at? Where are we at? We're at Disc Traders. Okay, that's it. <coughs> I, I got that on video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Won't be able to use any of this audio. My goodness. Hey, here's a $50 value uh, Nintendo Zapper. <laughs> One, two, three, new connects in box. So we're at Disc Traders number one, the one that we dropped off six times to? Yeah, so we dropped them off yesterday, <laughs> and it took them right up until close. I, I don't know, can't remember if we said that, but we came back this afternoon, picked them up, and it started slow. Yeah, buying. The, yeah, the game selection, everything acceptable, like uh, not original cases, printed uh, reprint inserts. cover arts. Yep. Yeah, so I wasn't having a great feeling, but then we did find a few like special high dollar items, mm-hmm. and I realized. I had yeah. my 20% off. Yeah. And normally they put a cap on the 20% off, but apparently they've taken that off. So I got 20% off the entire order. Mm-hmm. Which was... <laughs> so we got... It was a big order, man. We had 561 in credit. Yeah, and the, the grand Now, was total, that with existing credit? Or? Yeah, so we got 401 from our credit the other day, okay. yesterday, and then I already had 160. And so... That made it so that I only paid like $102 because our grand total was $663. After getting four things for free and after getting 20% off. That's insane. So we, I mean, saved hundreds of dollars, probably like $200. Mm -hmm. There's a few $40 games you said, completely free. Yes. So amazing. We're going to show you guys everything that we got here in a moment. Real quick, I don't know if we're going to be able to use any of the footage from when we were buying stuff because they were just playing like 2005 era like hot topic music (laughs) 
All right, so just to give an idea of what the store took in trade in, we had, you guys saw five tubs full. These two came back empty. These three are still full. So they're, they're still fairly picky with what they take. I mean, I do throw just anything in here that I can't sell that's video game related, so I can understand that. But still, for taking two tubs worth, we got $401. So I'm pretty thrilled, and let's roll into the pickup. All right, so back home from this traders, here's the full haul. So, I'll go kind of quickly through everything. This Keep is store ahead. number one. Store number one. Everything uh, was 20% off of the prices marked. I'm not gonna try to do the math, but just so you know, we saved about 130 off the marked prices. And then these three items right here, Hack Outbreak, Ace Combat Zero, and Yoshi's Island, those were all free. They have a buy five, get, get the sixth free. So that was pretty amazing to get those for free. But then in addition to everything else, we got DSi XL for 60, 3DS for 115. Those are just pretty spiked right now. Handheld DS systems, 3D or non-3D are pretty spiked. Mario Deluxe, 15. Sonic Advance 2 for 15. Lord of the Rings GameCube for 10. Saga Frontier for 40. Super Rare going in the collection. Skylanders Imaginators for the Switch, which is funny, but that might end up being one of the most rare games on the Switch. Strictly, with... they did not make many at all. Yeah. Yeah. They came out, or they, which, which one is it? Each one, These... each one came with the basic um, yeah. figures and, and the portal thing. So those aren't really worth anything, but they do help. So that's amazing. I was super happy to find that. Also got Sims 2 on PSP, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, GTA Liber Liberty City Stories, Radiator Stories, Tennis World Tour, probably gonna just try that one out. Sweet Conan 4 for 35, Skylar's Imaginators on PS4, also included with the figures for 25, Xenosaga Episode 2, and Micro Machines V4, and then out over here we got Xenosaga 1, Resident Evil Outbreak for 15, and then a good bundle or Guitar Hero Aerosmith for a dollar. Also got the 360 Guitar Hero guitar for 45. And then these, probably my favorite score because it's three brand new 360 Connects, unopened, mint condition. Those are super easy sellers on Amazon FBA and they were marked at 38, so paid about 31 each after the 20% off. And after the trade-in, I only paid like $110 for everything here, so Quite a haul, absolutely love it. Traded a bunch of trash, low end games, and got this small lot of games that'll probably take me two hours total to fully process through and get sent off to Amazon. So quick estimate on uh, profit on all these. Potential profit, I would say probably a fairly easy double up. So we'll say clean profit of 700. And that doesn't factor in the fact that I did say 400 with trade in, but. We'll just say 700 for pure profit. All right, so we're going to the second game store now to trade in two more tubs plus this giant box full of discs. So these are disc only games, um, hundreds, absolutely stuffed. And this is uh, these are actually some pretty good trade in games with like some cartridge stuff. So this should go pretty well. Only bringing this much because it's like an hour away from home and I don't want to make the trip back. The store from yesterday, we still haven't um, gotten all the stuff back because it took them till close to get them done. <laughs> Literally open to close. <laughs> and I couldn't even get there in time to get the stuff back when they called. So probably gonna pick that up later today and we'll see what we got for the first five tubs of trading at my local game store. But we're gonna be bringing this stuff to the one an hour away today. So let's do it. Travel be roll, travel be roll. Travel B-roll, travel B-roll, that's a semi-travel B-roll, <laughs> travel B-roll. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> mm. Yes, we hit traffic. We don't know what happened, but there was a semi that was like sideways. <laughs> yep. So that happened. We're here about an hour later than we should be. Yeah. Um, but we're here and we're going to go in, bring our little three bins of trade in and 
hopefully buy a whole bunch of stuff as well. Let's go check it out. So far, always looking for bunderlers for cheap. Another bundler than Harry Potter, and then PSP. We hit that section pretty hard, and still browsing, but definitely find some deals. So the last two games that I've found are both from the sports game list. So Nicktoons MLB six bucks goes for fifteen to twenty, and then NHL Hits two thousand three ten bucks goes for about twenty. And you can find the sports game list in Patreon. It's only three bucks a month to join. That's just one of the many benefits. But it's one of the best ones. It's a very extensive list uh, in alphabetical order by system. Um, so you'll find these games and many others on there. And if you're like me, go to one video game store and you've already made 20 bucks in profit. So it's well worth it. Check it out. We went into this traders. We didn't get anything. Just kidding. We got a ton of stuff. <laughs> We haven't gotten it yet, so. Yeah, um, we got a ton of stuff. We we actually like put it all behind the counter. He put our name on it, and they're still going through the trade-in credit. Probably gonna mm -hmm. take another couple hours. Yeah, so we got uh, Guitar Hero, or Guitar for the Wii. Yep. DJ Hero for PS3. And they have the dongle, so that's what got us. Yes, because we have one that doesn't have the dongle. Yep. Um, so Which, maybe at least we can not. test. Gotta have dongles with all that stuff. Them. That is very important, and then the big one. Don't tell nobody. We'll, we'll save the biggest score. We'll mm -hmm. save that. Um, but they are systems. Mm -hmm. They did have a fire red um, game yeah. for listed at sixty, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, but the back was completely shattered. He said, yeah, like the back was all cracked all way, inside and crack. So, so that's a no go. But yeah, well, they're gonna get a head start on pulling all the discs, mm -hmm. which is nice. So we'll be able to check out a little faster mm -hmm. and. Um, we'll do a full pickup on that stuff. Yeah, we got a bunch of other games and stuff too that we can. Yeah, go we'll over just kind of put the spines out and do a quick pickup. Yeah, and lots of good PSP games. Yeah, that's a, that's a good find. You that. know what I noticed? Those that little bin of disc games that we have, like yeah. hundreds of, they're actually going through it, and that's it. Looks like they're going to take some. That's super cool. <laughs> yeah, so I've had those for it. years. They came from a big purchase. They were just a throw in. Wow. So. That'll be nice if they take some of those. Mm -hmm. I mean, there then, are some good loose discs in there that... Yeah, like, they're not nothing. It's mm -hmm. just, I've had them for so long. Like, just give me a buck a piece for these. Get them out of my life. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how much trading we get. I'm guessing mm -hmm. maybe around 300. Oh, yeah. Prediction. Yeah. Uh, maybe if they take a bunch of those discs, yeah, that's if there are card. some good ones, maybe 350. 350. 350. All right, we'll see what they give, and you guys will see when we get back. So, Disc Traders number two is finished and it was epic. Yeah, it was super, super good finds. We had said a little bit about some stuff that we uh, were thinking about getting and we ended up getting. We'll still do a full pickup. They took a lot of stuff. Yeah, they, they took a, a full tub plus almost all of the loose disc games. The trade credit ended up being $471, which we got was $300 Yeah, so much, much more than. That is amazing. And we got a whole bunch of stuff, still ended up spending some money. So we'll go over everything we got and how much we ended up spending right after this. All right, and for Disc Traders number two, we brought two tubs plus the one buried in here, the little tub, little bin, was full of discs. They took a bunch from that, and then they took essentially one tub worth of stuff. So they took quite a lot to, compared to what we brought them, and we got whatever it was, 460-ish. So did really well there. So all this back here 
has been processed through at least one disc traders while we've got all of this stuff yet to go. Yeah, some of these aren't as full, but that's yeah, we'll pretty much because of, of weight issues as well. Yeah. Yeah, so a couple of them aren't full, but that one is. Yeah, it's probably these two green ones, maybe those two those green three ones. Are full. So we've oh, okay. got five, six full ones, maybe seven, and then three empty, three half full. Still to go. So maybe like eight bins left to take to disc traders. We've really uh, grinded for a couple days getting the first, I don't know, even seven, eight, seven slash eight. Half not even. Yeah, so about Not half. even half to be down one bin. Yeah, so clearly we're gonna need to go to probably more than one more disc traders, at least one more stop, but we'll bring a bunch more to the third location. Um, and we'll bring you guys with us for that one and see how that goes. So now let's roll into the pickup for store number two. Okay, game store number two. We got 471 credit. The grand total was 852, so cash paid was 371. And this is all that we got. So over here, just a stack of really cheap bundlers. So just things we need to bundle with various accessories or systems. And then just a whole bunch of games. So I mentioned there's some games from the sports game list. So check that out on Patreon once again. If you, if you haven't gone over there, we've got a pretty good community over there and the sports games worth buying list is there. It's very helpful. But also got Ratchet and Clank for 12. PS4 cameras, those are doing well right now. Paid 35 for that. GTA Liberty City Stories. So PSP games, just tons of them. Need for Speed, Gran Turismo, another GTA, Sims 2, Naruto, SpongeBob, Burnout Legends for nine, Need for Speed Carbon for nine. All of those are complete with the manual and should be a double up on Amazon after fees. DJ Hero comes with the dongle. It was only eight bucks, that's why I got it. We also got the game to bundle with it. So nine bucks into that total. Tekken 2 for 10 bucks. We'll swap out the case, get that in very good condition. Mario World for 13, just a great deal. Dirt Showdown for 12. Dante's Inferno, that one was a really good deal for eight bucks. Uh, probably worth about 20. Harry Potter for 17, that was one of the freebies. So the price was right. Bleach for 12, that was also one of the freebies. And then we got a Rock Band guitar for Wii with the dongle for only 25 bucks. We finally ordered boxes that are big enough for these and we will be selling that on Amazon. Three various 3DS systems, 110, 135, 125, should double up on every single one of them. So that was absolutely the score of the store. These are super, super spiked right now. They're in great condition and they're quick sellers. So I love getting stuff like that. And then the PS3, 160 gigs of glory for $100. Um, should be able to make at least $50 to $80 on that on Amazon after fees. And we really need a PS3. We got a bunch of games that need testing. We got guitars that need testing. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy that. So I did. Harry Potter on GameCube. Financial Hits 2003 for 10. Sweet Code in three for 35. And then Naruto, Ultimate Chronicles two for eight. Can't forget the Pope Walker. Ah, the 35, yes. which I'll probably hold on to to complete a heart gold or soul silver whenever we come across one. But that was it, store number two, massive haul. Let's keep going. All right, so it's day three. We're gonna go to game store number three. Here's the thing. We've got one, two, three, four. Those are all full. Five, six, seven, eight bins of trade in left. There's no way that they could get through those in one day. So we're gonna take as much as we can, maybe three, because that takes them about five hours on average to do three bins. That's all the time we can really afford for them to take. So I think I'm just gonna take these three. So there's a lot of Skylanders, like hundreds, well over a hundred Skylanders in this one and then 20 or 30 in here. So I'm really hoping they take Skylanders and just pay a buck or two a figure or something. And then just a bunch of games. So we'll take those. There's a chance we'll go to a game store that's not Disc Traders, which is our favorite. And I might take one of the bins that's already been processed through Disc Traders to take to that game store. And we'll see how that goes. But we're gonna bring you guys with us. Let's do it. 
B-roll, this is B-roll, mighty, mighty B-roll, this is B-roll, that is construction, construction, driving past construction, it's B-roll. We are at Disc Traders. We have... Number three. Yes, three tubs for number three. Hopefully, we get another 400-ish dollars, but this is Ooh, all kind yeah, of... prediction. Yeah. D so, did you look back, we Disc Traders number one, I guessed 400 and we got 401. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that was actually spot on. Yeah, all of them have been like pretty much above what we've what we've thought. Yeah. Um, um, I it all, it's all contingent on if they take the Skylanders or not. If they take yeah, Skylanders, so many Skylanders, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 400. Yeah, that's if they did like if a they dollar don't, a piece or 180. Like it's gonna yeah. be a big difference. A big hit or miss. Yeah. But regardless, hopefully there's still some good stuff to buy inside. Yes. So. Which we will definitely bring you guys for that part. Mm -hmm. Let's go do it. All right, so Vita games are popping right now. We're getting all of these, which most of them will be about a double up. So that's amazing. And then the WWE games often on PS3 are good to look out for. And all those are on the sports game list. So then NCIS is good, Monster Jam, Path of Destruction, and... London 2012, a great time to get that one. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Comment below if you know. This one literally says beats. Beats by Dwight. The basket is growing. Still finding winners. So we did some stuff, had some lunch. Yes. We almost got scammed out of some biscuits. And that was not okay. Guess where we had lunch, based on that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it happens every time, so. Yes. Guess where we had lunch? And Dish Traders called me right after lunch and mm -hmm. said, hey, we're done with the trade-in. Took them about three hours. Yeah. I guess two and a half hours. Yeah, they were pretty it wasn't, wasn't that bad, actually. We could have brought more stuff. Mm -hmm. but, but it was all Skylanders, so I'm yeah. sure they were just like... <laughs> they were like, ah, great. <laughs> but they did. It sounds like they took a lot of them. They don't get much for them, but got 276 in credit. And then we found out when we were leaving, we have 20% off. Yes. So, so this is another... <laughs> Uh, it's amazing because at the last one we had 20% off mm -hmm. and it's like on your 10th visit if you check in you get 20% off and it just happened to line up perfectly. I was only one away at um, mm -hmm. uh, just the second disc trader. So I guess it was the first store and then the third store 20% off. So Good we're going to go crazy and try mm -hmm. to get a bunch of like systems and stuff like that because 20% off just puts it over the top. I don't know if we've shown any... Uh like pictures of the the basket that we have but we probably have like i, I recently probably like updated oh okay yeah. yeah so we have a few dozen 20 games. or 30 maybe 30 games right now mm -hmm. so we're doing we're doing pretty good we've been mm -hmm. through most of the games so now we'll just have to look close at accessories and systems and then yes we will show you guys everything mm -hmm. that we get we've got an interesting shot but it's very windy so <laughs> all right so we mentioned that we might go to another smaller game store in the area and take in the, basically the trade-in that Disc Traders didn't. So we have the bin that we brought, and then this is what Disc Traders didn't take that we just took. So we basically got two more bins. We'll see if they take any of it and use that credit to hopefully get something nice. Now that's a knife. That's a knife. All right, well, we just went in. Shout out to Eric. Eric, we finally went to your store, Dollars Gaming and Collectibles. Uh-huh. The guy knows you. Yep. So. And, yeah, he was pretty cool. Um, ended up taking... We had the loose bin of like a ton of discs mm -hmm. and then random controllers and accessories. He took about half a bin and he didn't have official rates or anything. He offered 60 and I said, how about you give me the $75 game right here? So Mega Man, Star Force 2, Zerker X, Ninja. 
What a mouthful. That is a mouthful. $75 marked, but it's actually worth about $120 on eBay. So that was a pretty cool score. And then Harry Potter for GameCube, Sorcerer's Stone Complete for $60. I bought that one. Um, it's worth $90 to $100. So, uh, yeah, hey. I, I got some B-roll of that. I don't know if I got awesome a ton story. about the games, but he has a lot of stuff. Like, oh, yeah. literally everything. The dude's dude's got a ton. He was cool. So it's yeah. called Dollars Gaming and Collectibles in Jackson, Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, recommended. I mean, the stuff, a lot of it is priced at eBay, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, cool service, good dude. You can mm -hmm. bring stuff in to trade in. Yeah, lots of interesting stuff. So cool stuff very, to look at. Yeah, at the very least, like from old school wrestling figures to He-Man to sports new cards, age sports cards. Pokemon Get some cards. 90s stuff. So Tons of games. Yeah. Great selection. Um, yeah. that That's it. <laughs> <laughs> A little surprise uh, shop. So, yeah. So, we... Our, tr our trade-in totals, just real quick, we got 401, 470, so that's like 870 total, and then we got 276, so that puts us over a thousand, uh, about 1100, and then just got 75. So basically, I've gotten $1,200 in trade-in, and that is for what, Half 11 the bins? bins? <laughs> 11 of the yeah. 17? And then we still got like, you know, probably half of those back. Yeah, right. so we got we've got five more full bins from stuff that's been processed through a place, mm -hmm. and then we have seven more that are haven't been to any disc traders yet. Yeah, we're so just not going to be able to get into everything yeah, done this week. So the the lesson here: Jeez. don't have seventeen bins of trade in <laughs> at any point, <laughs> unless if you want to spend a full week driving around, dropping them off, yes. waiting. Like that is its own job to potentially not even get like that much i think we definitely lucked out across the board as far as getting 20 percent off yeah and a couple of them we got some we're pretty surprised at the trade-in we actually got because i think we guessed lower than it ended up being every time except for this the one today yeah that one was a lot lower but, but we ended up just, getting 75 more dollars so that brought our brought it closer to our guesses since we just yeah. crossed up there yep so yeah i mean 1200 dollars in trade-in amazing because i used all of that and we'll probably double up on the stuff that I got. Yep. And it won't be that much work since it was just high dollar stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I love doing that and got seven more bins to go. We'll probably just do that in a different video. So if you guys like this one. Yeah, let us know. Let us know if there's any other places in Michigan to, to hit yep. up or maybe even Indiana, maybe Ohio. Yeah, we'll, we'll be coming down to Fort it's, Wayne probably for the next one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know if you want to see another one like this too. Mm -hmm. All right, so got all the stuff from video game store number three laid out. Definitely a solid trip, and I did have my 20% off, so everything here was 20% off. Including three systems. Yeah, some of the systems. I was hoping all the systems would be, but they didn't end up doing that. But uh, I'll kind of just point out some of the notables as we go down. Uh, you're definitely going to notice that wrestling games are... It generally holds some value, and Disc Traders usually sells them for pretty cheap. So if they're complete and in really good shape, I like to pick them up. Um, Scarface ended up being $32. Uh, another wrestling game, you got Dukes of Hazard. That's one most people don't know about. I paid 20 bucks for that one. Uh, Dukes of Hazard: Return of the General Lee. Sells well on Amazon. A couple Midway games, but also nice stack of Vita games. These are pretty much spiked across the board. So basically all those are double ups, even on eBay. Same with PSP games, they're doing pretty well in general. So just when you're at game stores, look closely into those sections, you'll probably find some winners. A really nice one, Henry Hatsworth, somewhat uncommon DS game for $2. And then King of Roll Mario Maker for 6 bucks. So just some oddball 3DS games there. And then some highlights. Skylanders Imaginators on PS4, definitely a bolo. Uh, any Skylanders on Xbox One, PS4, or Switch, if you find that on Switch, that's like $150. So definitely keep your eyes open for that one. Power Up Heroes, this one was cool. Sealed for a dollar, goes for about 20 bucks. The Hobbit PS2 also sealed, that one was 16 bucks. And then more wrestling games, just really wanted to hit those home for you guys. 
be on the lookout for those. A great deal, a dollar for a link cable. That's amazing. The Nyko Perfect Shot, an accessory that holds value. So be on the lookout for that one. And then you got Rumble Pack, uh, Logitech Wireless, PS2 controller. And then here's the two games from the other game store we went to. Ended up trading in more stuff and got this from the trade-in that he took. So this was stuff that disc traders did not take. He took some remnants and I got 75 more dollars worth of trade-in. And then I also bought Harry Potter on GameCube for 60 bucks. And then the systems we got, so just was getting more systems to add to my trade pile. So sometimes I'll get a trade offer that isn't quite there. And I can now say, hey, I do have a used, really good condition switch light that I can do. Or I can say I've got a used Animal Crossing switch, which this is one that people seem to want like a lot. So I like having those on hand. I'm gonna go ahead and add those to my switch pile. How many do we have now? Oh, we probably got around 10 to maybe 12 now that we're adding these two. Oh, but there's a bunch up there. So probably more like 15 or 20. I just like to keep good trade stock. My posts haven't been as active, but I have made a couple trades somewhat recently, so you guys may be seeing those. And then just got like a PS3, 20% off of 95. Uh, Xbox 360, 20% off of 60. The systems just sell really well on Amazon. Also got a Vita for 150. Not a great deal, but uh, SP was 70. That was 20% off. So overall, pretty darn happy with the stop. $276 was what my trading credit paid for. And then I still had to pay like 900 bucks for the rest of everything. So definitely a big haul, but that is it for this one. Okay, guys, so... We bit off a bit more than we could chew. We thought we could process all 17 bins in a week. That just wasn't happening. But we did get through 11 bins of trade-in, processed through various video game stores, and ended up getting $1,148 of trade-in. I just added up the amounts from the three stores, and I'm forgetting that doesn't even include the 75 from the last one, so actually 1,223. And then in addition to that, spent about another $1,200 on stuff from the game stores. So spent nope. 1200 Traded credit was another nope. 1200 About 2400 spent, and the potential value on everything we got is probably right around $4,000. So very, very well worth it, especially since 1200 of that I didn't even really have to spend because I just used a bunch of games from bundles that I've already profited on. So yeah, moral of the story, Games are great for trade-in. Buy the entire thing when you see collections and stuff at garage sales, but maybe work on processing them a little bit faster than I did, because 17 bins is a bit overwhelming. Uh, we got through 11, so we still got eight more fully unprocessed, and then probably still four more that filled back up of stuff that they didn't take. So still sitting on about 12 bins of trade-in, and we might have to do another video like this one. So. Definitely let me know if you liked it. If you want to see another one, hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below. And we will see you guys next time.